I fit like some <laughs> physical I fit some stuff to it. Do not fear. Okay. We are all good. I hope you can all join us in this. Oh, this is this is a new session. Oh, look at the little mini feet though. Yeah. Ah. Check, check if it works. Yeah, I'm gonna check on the phone. Check. Oh, here we go, everyone's coming in. Hello, Dean. Hey, hello, Dean. Jennifer. Oh my god! Hello! Hello, Auntie. Hello, Ashley. Hello, Zoe. Hello Amanda, hello Jessica, how are you doing today? Hello Hi, Beach Life, hello Joe, hello me South C and two and Liam, Holly, Ariel, hello, hello everybody, welcome, welcome to the stream. Do we sound okay? Is everything all good? Can you all hear us? Is the music too loud, loud or too quiet? You know, let us know. Hello cause... everybody, hi. Yeah, we're doing lots of new things around here. So. <laughs> Lots of, new Lots of new things that are happening. Hello, hello. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> well, hello, hello there. there. <laughs> and I'm trying to see. Hey there, Hannah. Live. Hey from Hello, Tommy from California. Hi. Hello. Nice to seeing you here. So do we. <laughs> Missing you guys. Life's been too busy. Hey, Jennifer. Hope you're doing well, my love. Hey there, mm -hmm. Epic Tom, uh, Thompson. Hey there, Holly. Uh, Kristen, Sarah, Becky. Becky says it sounds great. Awesome. Everyone's saying we're sounding good. Can Fantastic. you hear the music or is it too soft? Like, is it just good enough sound? Is it just, just the right amount? Yeah. Sound is great. Good. <laughs> happy <laughs> birthday, Anna. Happy birthday oh, to you, my love. Happy birthday. Hello, Holly from Massachusetts. Hey, Ooh. Rachel. Hope you're doing well, my love. Hey, Ashley. So as you can tell, we have a little bit of a difference. Mm -hmm. We've got some nice mics. And uh, we've got like a little border and stuff like that. Every time someone's a new subscriber, you see on the bottom left, I think, oh, yeah. you should say welcome to new sub, and yeah, all that good stuff. So, what's up, Susan? Mm -hmm. What's going down? Hello, lovey. Hello, love. Can you hear the music? It's not too loud. Good, good. Annabelle. That's good. Good stuff. It's nice music. The music um, is good. So I'm just checking my second monitor because I've got other songs as well. Ooh, so it's my second monitor now. So we're proper, we're proper upgraded here. So. <laughs> Hey there, oh, Sarah. Missed you as well. I know. Love to Rob. Yeah, love to Rob. And hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. But yeah, hello everybody. Welcome to the Christmas More shopping hall live stream. Oh, shopping hall. It's like a shopping, shopping channel. Hall. It's a shopping channel. It's QVC. No, it's not. Um, um, yeah. Also, we're going to re-upload this to YouTube, but we're going to put timestamps in it. So mm. if people can't join us, then there'll be a timestamp. So if you're re-watching this, check the description. There will be timestamps. Obviously, if you're watching now live, We'll be doing that, but we're going to go through everything that yes. we bought during oh, our time oh. in California. Mm -hmm. Some of it's going to be most of it's Disney, not going to lie. Uh, we've got a couple of things Wait, from what wasn't Disney. We've got the hello, um, oh, back to the future, back to the future stuff. So, yeah, <laughs> so there are a few things, so yeah. Um, but if you have any questions during our uh haul, let us know. Yeah. You know, we're happy to help, and you know, first time live, awesome, welcome to you. Hey there, Jill. Welcome. Hey there, Alison from Croydon, my neck of the woods. I was born in Croydon. <gasps> yeah. Small world. <laughs> Small world indeed. Yeah. Um, you look incredible, Steph. She does indeed. Oh, thank She's looking you so awesome. much. Um, but yeah. So I'm not sure. Shall we start? Should, should we start? I think we've got everybody in now. I think we've got everyone more people wants will join. to see what we what, what we got. Is there Who any particular order in? you want us to go in? <laughs> Any particular order? Should we start from the top down, like hats up? Maybe you should just start with the universal stuff, because I think I think we're all here for the Disney stuff. Pretty much. You'd be very surprised on how much we actually bought. <laughs> well, if you if you haven't checked out the, which I'm sure most of you have, but if you haven't checked out the full playlist, just check it out on our channel. Um, the full playlist of us, we went hand luggage only. Yeah. So we had to restrict ourselves. Mm even though it was quite hard, but yeah. Hello everyone that's just joined us. Hello everybody. <laughs> Hello. Uh, we'll be going to Disneyland Paris when it reopens. Oh, will we? Um, well, well, of course not we'll be yet. going, but it's when really. So yeah. probably later on in the year will be realistic yeah. for us, definitely. We're not going to go straight away. We're no. going to let things settle down yeah. and then get to a more... I more think authentic. to be honest, I mean, we need to find out what's, what's going on, whether or not we can travel abroad and all of that yeah. other lark. So until that's all confirmed, then, you know. 
we're sitting at home, yeah. waiting to go back to work. So yeah. But right, the first thing we're going to cover is the promise. The one thing I got from Universal Studios, <laughs> yeah. Hollywood. Um, as you know, I'm a big Back to the Future fan, and this year is the 35th anniversary. So why purchased one of these? One of those. One of those. It's um, like felt. Is it felt? Or furry? Like the, the Back to the Future 35 is basically felt, and then the actual mm -hmm. color bits are just printed. And then it's got like some little red cuffs on the side, which is really cool. I think it was about $34, $30, I think it was, something like that, on mm -hmm. average. But yeah, really nice. Had to get it. I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. So <laughs> yeah, had to get this. That was pretty much the only thing we bought for Universal, because we were only there for half a day, weren't we? We were trying to be there for a day, but to be honest, quite a lot of things were closed. Yeah. And we were like, ow. Jurassic World Ride was still closed. Oh, I was gutted. And what was worse Hotted. was, we were on the tour, the backstage tour, the tour that you have, the tram tour. Yeah. And there's a bit where we walked past, drove past, and you could see the ride inside, and they were just refurbishing. We're like, oh. can you touch it? Literally, nearly. So, <laughs> but yeah, so we, we were really close, but we still had a great time. You got to see a dinosaur? I did get to see a dinosaur. I flitched cool. a triceratops, so I was very, very happy. And my inner child was like, <laughs> yeah, literally. Like, like, literally. It was so good. <laughs> Can I ask, what were your Disney jobs back in the day? Well, in 2005, Ooh. I worked in what was called MGM Studios back in the, those days. And I was uh, custodial in the bat lot area. Um, so um, I, I dealt with a lot of the parade as well, because that was the start of the parade at that yeah. area and stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, in 2008, we, worked, we both worked at the Rose and Crown, didn't we? Yeah, we were both um, cultural representatives in Epcot. So every country in Epcot has that. So they kind of hire people from the countries that mm -hmm. they represent. And so we were in the food and beverage department. So, um, so you did a bit of bartending. I was bar and, and server. And server. You were server. I was server. But when you first start, you kind of do things chippy. like chippy, the chip, the fish chip shop, and then you kind of seat people and things like that. And they do the outside bar. So that was our jobs in Disney originally. Took in the match. So, yeah. Took you. Took Emma, my heart goes out to you. Um, mm -hmm. That your trip had to go cancelled. Everyone else who had their trips cancelled. Everyone else, Sarah and Rebook. Rob. You know, rebook. Let's let's get those countdowns. Exactly, new countdowns on the way. A little bit altered, but you, you'll get there. We'll get there, and it'll exactly. be better. Exactly. So yeah. So love out to everybody. <laughs> but yes. So um, I'm going to start off with the Disney stuff. Go for it. Which is important. We're going to go a bit um, out of the range. Oh yeah. So um, if you saw the video when we went to Hollywood, we went to the. Um, El Capitan Theatre, um, Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli shop, yeah. and we did the Madame Two Swords, and we saw the Chinese Theatre, there was a Disney shop just there where the mm -hmm. El Capitan Theatre was Steph said, and I got this t-shirt, which was really cool, it was a Mickey Mouse Hollywood t-shirt, this was like 25% off wasn't it, I think, there was like a deal wasn't there, do you remember? Yeah, I can't remember, it was, yeah. there was, they were really on cool. sale, yeah. they were like, they were so cute, they were really really cool, and yeah, so they got this, so Disney, amazing hollywood we also bought a mug as well which we don't have with us i think it's in the dishwasher yeah, <laughs> but you know it just says uh, disney hollywood we also oh, got some yeah. pins uh which i'll probably try grabbing a bit but they're like al capitan ones which is really yes, cool they're really cool do you want to do you want to do some spirits hello everyone who's just joined hello, hello people we are just going through our um haul of what we um purchased yes in uh, california and a oh, few yeah. things in new york as well yes Yes, indeedy. <laughs> right, you can show this one off. I can show this one off, okay. Oh, food and wine. I've never experienced the food and wine properly. Not properly, no. It's okay, no Next year. Uh, but yeah, this is one of, how many spirit jerseys? Uh, too many. <laughs> four, <laughs> too we did many? four all together. Four all spirit jerseys all together. So. Okay, so this is uh, the food and wine the Californian food and wine um, spirit jersey. It's pink. It's mm. pink. It's got the California. Uh, it's got the wheel. The wheel of doom. Yes. I we we actually didn't go on it. We didn't know. Because <laughs> I'm scared. We, we it out, I'm so scared. We didn't want to go on it. <laughs> I'm literally scared. So, yeah. And then on the back it says, "Life's too short. Eat." And it's got a it's got a Mickey on the bottom. I love all the fruit and uh, vegetables on there and the cheeses and everything. It's really cool. So, I loved it. Loved it. But yeah, their food and wine only is their food and wine is at like the same time when Florida's Flower and Garden is yeah. going on. So 
So don't expect it to be in like the time that normally yeah. food and wine is in Walt Disney World. It's a bit. Food and like... wine is always in the springtime. Yeah. Sort of thing. Over there. So, um, yeah. And I also got a pair of ears with them as well. You did. To match. You did. And it was the food and wine. Ears. It's like a chef cute. hat. <laughs> well, this always reminds me of like ratatouille, like Remy type of thing. So it's really nice. Mm. Uh, yeah, only for the food and wine in California, which is really good. So that's like that set. Mm -hmm. You're scared of the wheel too? Yeah, I'm scared of it. I mean, we were like, oh, we can just go on the non-swinging one. And then part of me was like, no, like, if I'm going to go on it, I'm going to go on the swinging side, but I've not got the courage to do it yet. Mm -hmm. it's true. <laughs> so I'm like, could be a little bit of shit. I don't yeah. know. And then also I bought this because I absolutely love this t-shirt. It's part of the food and wine again. Yeah. Um, it's pretty much like a little pocket one. So it's got life is too short with Mickey and he's kind of like holding the plate and some veg and on the back it says eat eat with lots of veg this still has the tag on it because i haven't worn it because <laughs> so it was 30 dollars before tax so it's really nice it was eat, cool. really good love it love the pockets beautiful kind of a little motto that we have anyway we just go i'll just eat it, <laughs> just eat it. is it worth it eat yes. it do you know what i mean <laughs> Um, hashtag brand. Brand. <laughs> hashtag brand, exactly. <laughs> Very well. Love Steffi's spirit jersey collection going on. Definitely going to try out myself. Very good. Mm -hmm. We haven't finished yet. Oh no, we're still going. Still going. I, well, I want to show off my one. Go on, go for it. So you probably saw it in the video on the first day we were in Disney Springs. I had to get a Disneyland spirit jersey, but not any particular spirit jersey. I had to get the Pixar one. Yeah. The Pixar is possibly I my favourite design. That colours are really lovely on yeah. that. So it's Disneyland with the Pixar colours and you've got the Pixar balls on the arms. And Amazing. The thing. Sarah, Sarah Cooley, thank you for subscribing to our channel. Thank, thank you, you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you so Happy much. Happy having a lovely day. Yes. Look how cute that is. <laughs> I had to put it in. It was just the best thing. <laughs> it's the most cute space ever. <laughs> but yeah, so as you can see, the main part, the, the bottom half of it has the Pixar balls, all the colours of the Pixar with Disneyland estimated 1955. Mm. This, we when I, I actually remember this, this was about $75 after tax, with tax included, sorry. So tax was included in it. So they are quite pricey, but these ones are really good. These are like... They're really good loungy yeah. jumpers. Yes. They may look a little bit like weird and oversized and baggy and, mm. you know, but they're really good to lounge in. And yeah. Just be like... Really, oh, really good. Uh, and it's... it's Sending love to you and uh, good on you for all the work that you do. And I hope you have a lovely birthday. Yes, have a fantastic have a birthday. birthday. Yes. Um, also, this one, this one actually, this top I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. We didn't, we didn't buy this in Disneyland the theme park. We actually bought this in um, in a outlet area that we have heard had sells Disney park outlets, Disneyland park yeah. merch. On occasions, it's very rare. We did put it in the video, yeah. but we didn't see much. But I found this T-shirt. Which I still have the labels for yeah. and the sticker, um, but yeah, I found this. It was seven ninety nine. I think it might have been four ninety nine. I, I think remember. it was four. I four. think it went down, down even, even further. further. But yeah, so this is a medium size. So yeah, it's a really nice one. Fifty five, really retro. Really like it. <laughs> Lovely, love it. Yeah. Are these spirit jerseys roomy? They are indeed. Yes. Yeah. They're, they're meant are. to be lounged, like so oversized yeah. jumpers, basically. Yeah. So they're really good. <laughs> for me, for me. Let's see what other um, questions have we got in there. Da, 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 da. That's a superb day if I want. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's just the best spirit jersey ever. I think they do the Walt Disney World version of it, but I mm. actually prefer the Disneyland one, you know, but they're still great. Do you know what, um, Sharon, with the matching ones, we, we had our hearts set on, there was a matching pair of spirit jerseys, wasn't there? And they're very sort of like 90s sort of like, um, oh, Leonzi, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, Talk about the tie-dye green ones. Or no, the, the sort of like 90s sort of mix-matched patchy oh, ones. Oh, yeah, 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 They came yeah. out during like Valentine's Day. They did, Arrived, yeah. non, non available. Yeah, they we had saw like, everybody wearing them. And yeah. we was like, oh, my... It kind of reminded me like Nickelodeon days or sort of like... Safe by the Bell colours, like yeah. they were like really neon, and then they had the Mickey and one and so Minnie on the other. Cute. And we were like heart sold to get them, and then they just yeah. went, like Steph said. But that's one yeah. thing with spirit jerseys when the design comes out, like once they're gone, they're pretty much gone because yeah. they're constantly bringing out new designs. But uh, going on to my next spirit jersey, I've got the purple one, the purple potion one. Mm -hmm. 
So I've got a California Adventure one and I've got a Disneyland one. So you've got both parts There we now. go. <laughs> also, big shout out to Caroline. Hello. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for watching the videos. Hope you're doing well. What was our favourite ride that we went on? Oh gosh, there were so many. Guardians. Guardians was insane. Guardians was the best. Oh, oh my gosh, I've never like laughed so much like near to tears. I was just like, it was just brilliant. It, it, it was interesting to go on that ride because 90% of the time you're always scared for your life because obviously when it's Tower of Terror, you're scared. But yeah. it was nice to go on a ride where people were cheering and dancing and not dancing, but they were like kind of enjoying the music mm. and it was really good and people were playing the song or list singing the song it's is the word so sorry good. um i actually i've complete i actually know what i've completely forgot about this t-shirt until literally i was pulling them out today oh yeah i've got my other one somewhere You've got i think it's in the wash we need to we need to find that one but this so bad. this one is my favorite t-shirt that i actually got it's a red disneyland t-shirt it's so cool it's so cute, mickey it? mouse on the mountain with disneyland space mountain pirates and uh the grizzly uh, yeah. Water Rapids with the fireworks on top. Really cool. These were part of the. Um, Is it two, two for 22 each? Or, or yeah, two for 22 each. The deal yeah, that we had in like, Disney Springs. Uh, so, yeah, love that one. Really good. I did buy a new lounge fly bag. We're going to get that one as well. You're going to see that too. I love it. I've used it quite a bit. Yeah. It's amazing. This is another jumper that I've been wearing, like living in. Because <laughs> it's the most cutest yeah. thing ever. This jumper. Dion Gibb, thank you very thank much for subscribing. So really much. appreciate it. Really do appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome yeah. to the family. Welcome, Welcome to the s'mores. <laughs> Welcome to the house of s'mores. Oh. Um, so yeah, um, this jumper, I was trying to find... Robert R, thank you for subscribing thank again. You. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, the this jumper, they had these in different colours. Like they had like blues, reds, I think pink as well, I think. But this one, I really wanted. I tried to get a size for myself, but I couldn't find it. So we found one size for you. So then we went... We'll buy it and then we'll just share it. Yeah. But mostly Steph's been like it. But to be honest, it's so oversized. Yeah. It's just the best thing ever. It is Because really cool. even I was trying it and I went, I think this is a little bit too big for me, but it's fine, it's fine. So uh, the Disneyland and, Dis and the Disney parks have gone back into retro, which I really love and I love the retro. And this is just such a simple jumper. It was really it's cool. so cute. Apparently they've got the... Uh, Walt Disney World has, has one. Yeah. This is Walt Disney so World. Might have to pick so that you up. might have to try and pick that up, like hopefully yeah. next time when we're when we're there. Definitely, when well, we're definitely returning. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, this is the jumper here. Again, they had different colours like greens, pinks, blues. Mm. Really good stuff, and it's just so simple, but so effective. And and yeah, so we share that on occasions. Hello to everyone who's just joined us. Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. Um, if you've just checked in, we are just going through our little haul of what we've uh, been purchasing in uh, mm. California. Uh, we had an amazing, wonderful time. Yes. Um, and we're ready to go back. <laughs> but it is, wait, we are done. We're, we're ready. We're, yeah, we love it. We yeah, love it so, so much. Food recommendations in Disneyland. You've got a video coming out soon. Is it next week? Um, it's Disneyland California. There's going to be a video out next Thursday of me mm. going through the foods that we ate. Um, so it's going to be like a voiceover type of thing of me, sh of us, or me, of us showing the food of our yeah. time that we were there and sort of things like that. Um, we're also going to be doing a walking waltz tour and the um, Blue Bayou Fantasmic Dining oh, Package. That was a dream. So we're going to do that all in one video because mm. we feel that if we do them separately, they're just going to be very short, but we're going to put them together so you can kind of get the idea. Um, but talking of Fantasmic, Okay, yeah, you yeah. You can hold this one. Okay. Hold this one. So, if you do the Blue Bayou uh, Fantasmic Dining Package, um, you can get um, these place, these sort of cushion, seat, covers. Seat, seat cushions. Seat cushions that mm -hmm. you can go and watch while you are um, watching Fantasmic. Fantasmic, which is really cool. And these are them. Like I call it, they've got a handle <laughs> and everything. It's got a little Mickey in the handle. It's yeah. really cute. And then if I, I'll go close for you so you can see. These are all the designs. So you see, like the Fantasmic Fireworks, the mirror. The, um, the dragon, you've got loads of cool things, it's so cool. And yeah, like, I'm definitely, I would love to take this to Florida. Take Just them to Paris take as them well. Take them to Paris as well, especially Paris when we're in the oh, yeah, when you're in your little area. Yeah, so, yeah, that's on there. So Ian, thank cool. you for the subscription. Thank you, thank you very much, Ian, really appreciate it. But yeah, <laughs> these were free, so when you do... Well, they're included. But yeah, but yeah. you get them included, so yeah. like, you know. Um, these don't like, you don't have to pay for them when you get there because you've already paid yeah. for the package. Uh, but if you want to see that video, please head over to the channel and check that out. We really appreciate it. But yeah, these are like the best. They're apparently, so good. There's two dining packages and there's another Russian, but apparently you don't get them with this. You only get it with the Blue Bayou. Yeah. So yeah, it's really cool. 
I think it's worth it. And then you get a really nice view as well of Phantasmic as well. So there's, you know, I thought it was definitely worth it. Um, okay, I'm going to show you some some ears. I got the Loungefly Pixar ears because uh, why not? Um, I do have lots and lots of ears now. Dan FC, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Hello, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, yeah, so these these are another pair of the ears that uh, are going to go on to the collection. <laughs> I tell you, I need to start with these ears. I really do. I am slowing down now with um, ears. Now, aren't I? Are you? A little bit. I'll say. Are you? After the, the next one that I'm going to show you. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, one of my favourite dining packages. Yes, definitely a really good package. Yeah. The, uh, Where's the next World Showcase trip taking you? Do you know what? We don't, we don't know yet because obviously a lot of things have changed this year. So. <laughs> We will let you know though as soon as space. possible because we did have a few plans to go a few places but then obviously obviously what's happening right now yeah. pushed it back so we're going to be re-establishing when things are more mm. safer to travel and things like that so I'll take that for you do you want the other one okay yeah my other other pair of ears which are absolutely amazing and um i probably would i blame <laughs> I blame Charlotte Ruff and uh, Lizzie for um, influencing me to buy yes. these because I've seen them work these 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 hats and they're absolutely amazing. And it's the um, oh, the red car trolley Mickey hats. The they're conductor. absolutely adorable. The driver hat. And you can only get them in California Adventure and it's just, they're just adorable. They are really cool. Oh my gosh. It's just dream. It's like the best hat ever. <laughs> It's the really, really cool. It is such a cool hat. Like I wore it. I think people said that you look better with it than I did. But, you I, know. Think it, I don't know. I think quite good. a lot of people, you know, can pull them off, good. definitely. You look really <laughs> good. Um, your carols must have been full. Yeah, they were pretty full. They were very, very full. Uh, do you prefer Universal Orlando or LA Universal? Um, I'd probably mm, I'd probably say Orlando because yeah. there's more there. Yeah. Probably. But if you wanted it for like Back to the Future sort of aesthetics and stuff yeah. like that. I'd say they're quite similar on par, but I think the I think you I think Hollywood is a little better because mm. it's got the studio dram tour. And I also think that the Kong uh, section and the Fast and the Furious bit really work well in the tram tour. I don't really think they work well as a separate ride, but you know, that's that's yeah. my opinion on that one. But um, mm. they were on my list as well. Awesome. Surely next World Showcase should be China and do this. That is something we're looking into yeah. in the future. We definitely want to do Shanghai, especially Hong Kong. They're the yeah. last two parks that we need to do until we've been to every Disney park. So I think that's it. Plans. Until like we get more confirmation that everything's all settled down, you know, with the with everything that's going on in the world, we will we will definitely. Yeah, definitely. We 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 want to go. <laughs> we want to go out there. So, was Disneyland Cali more expensive than Orlando? Yes, a little bit more. The only thing I would say was more was just sort of taxi rides are probably more expensive in LA yeah. than they were. But obviously the distance and where you were going was a big factor. Because mm. obviously with Walt Disney World, everything is all in one bubble. And in Disneyland, it's again all in one place. But to go other places like Universal mm. was a little bit more. But it wasn't massively more expensive. It was only a little bit, I'd say. Mm. But yeah, it was, it was still... How many places have you visited from the World Showcase now? So we've visited, obviously, the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, France, we visited Germany, we have visited um, Japan, and obviously America Adventures, if you want to class that as one. Um, we still need to go to uh, China, uh, Mexico, Norway, that's it. And Canada, mm -hmm. sorry, Canada, I always forget about Canada. And Canada, so four, wow. there's four left to do. So yeah, one day we will do, we will do them, mm -hmm. 100%. Uh, yeah, are you guys going to go to Busch Gardens or SeaWorld in Florida? Um, at the moment, I don't know. When, when we do go, we may look into it. I'm not sure at the moment, but mm. maybe. You never know. But yeah, should we do... Okay, I've got another one to do. So, I do, I do the pins. I've got pins here. I've got some good pins to show you. So whenever I was saying about the El Capitan pins, yeah, we did. I did find it. <laughs> so this was the one we got at uh, Hollywood, in the, in the studio store in Hollywood. It's the El Capitan of Mickey and Minnie, mm -hmm. there. And then also another one, which I will include these as well, which 
when you do the walking waltz tour you actually get a commemorative or commemorative, like a pin which is really cool and a picture apparently one interesting fact i'm not sure if i said it in the vlog but apparently this was the, the this picture here was the last picture uh, of walt before he passed away apparently i'm not sure if that's true but that's what they said was in the tour yeah and yeah you get this awesome pin and then it opens up and then it it's has so cool. the partner statue and then on the other side it has the uh the speech that uh Dis Walt disney stated when it opened so like you know uh, disneyland is your land and mm. all that so that's really cool that's that and we've also got the walk in walt's footsteps uh, name <laughs> As we keep, we kept it all. Oh, we always keep these little things. They're so cool. We even got the Wild Trek one still, and our backstage one still. When we did the in Florida, so that was pretty cool. Do you prefer Disneyland California or Disney World Florida? To be honest, you can't really compare them. I know no. that sounds a bit like a uh, cop out sort of question, like answer. Uh, it's only because Disney World is huge, like it's massive. Yeah. Disneyland, there's only like two parks. Yeah. So it, you know. If I was to, if I had to, to choose one, I would personally pick Disneyland California because of the nostalgia, the yeah. history. There's just mm. the, the Disneyland California so charming. Yeah, it's so charming. It's the so rides lovely. are really good. There's are old rides, new rides. Everything's kept to a nice little theme. And also Disneyland California Adventure is really good. Like Guardians is really good. Uh, the Incredible Coaster is amazing. Uh, Radiator Springs mm. is so good. It's it's I, I loved. I could I could have spent there longer than a week, easily. Yeah. Easily longer than a week. So. Did Stuffy ever get her face plaque from Epcot when they took it away? They're, it's actually been moved. Yeah. Uh, don't know where it's been moved to, but um, I'm sure we'll find out when it's. Because uh, realistically, it should be there. It was done in 05, and um, there was a contract that was signed that it's, it has to be there for 25 years. Yeah. So there we go. So, uh, so don't know where it's going to be. I think we know where it's going to be, but uh, yeah, it'll be fun to try and find. Apparently it's going to be at the front of the park before you enter the park, like sort yeah. of like where the grassy areas are. Again, but that's what we've heard. Yeah. Um, someone did ask how much the uh, El Capitan pin was. It was nine dollars ninety-five. Oh, that's handy. So it's on the back there. And also the the Walks pin was included in the tour, so it didn't have a value. Yeah. So I don't know. But yeah. Does it so, feel strange that you were some of the last people to be in the park, even though it was it, it, oh, no, 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 even though it was so long ago? Do you know what? It felt weird. It really did feel weird, like. But like everyone was all in the same boat sort of thing. It was this real surreal moment. And I think it's just that moment in history, isn't it? That, I mean, just just seeing, you know, the president of, um, of, 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 of Disneyland, yeah. Disneyland, California, and, and the statement that she brought out and everything. And it was just so heartwarming. And yeah. It was really good. Uh, but like, it was amazing to see it, but it was sad, obviously. But mm. it was for the right reasons. And they're, they're apparently they're reopening in July. Yeah. Uh, 13th or 16th, I can't remember the date, but yeah, apparently oh. that's the... Hello to thing. everyone who's just joined us. Yeah. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome everyone. But yeah, um... Oh! Oh, no worries, Sarah and Rob. I'll speak to you soon. Speak to you soon. <sighs> it's for you to show. Oh, yeah. And I'll go for some chat. Hey there, Gary and Clark, M. Clark, welcome yeah, to the you stream. Yeah, you Disneyland California too, it's more magical. I think it's just so charming. It's yeah. really charming. And you know what's really cool as well is you see elements of every other part that you've been to you can see where they brought it from disneyland sort of thing you know yeah. not only just the castle there's just little things that you can see oh there's, they've got that in france or they've yeah. got that in tokyo and they've got the, it's so it's so charming you yeah. can see like how things have become how they are it's great it was really cool and uh, this uh the next one is a jacket it reminds me that i'm on glee or something it does look really cool <laughs> it's this jacket it's a disneyland jacket red one Zip up. It's great. It's got two stripes on it. Awesome. And it's a Disneyland Resort um, all in it. Yeah, it's kind so of cute. really close. It's kind of like they've raised letters and it's really cool. And it goes mm. all the way across and obviously the embroidered Disneyland. Yeah. Thing. There is, the thing is though, when we looked at this, there was no, I know this sounds a bit OTT, but the matching trousers were just like a plain black with like Disney like printed oh, on I them. I wish they were matching. And that you kind of wish so that there was the red version trousers on yeah. So that would be really cool. So yeah, I think that would have been really cool if we got the trousers. But we bought this on the first day when we were there because it was actually quite chilly. We're not really good with weather, are we? We're, we're no, we seem to bring weather with us. Yeah. When we came back to the UK, it was sunny. <laughs> it was lovely and sunny. We were it's like, crazy. what's going on? You know what I mean, hey there, Luke. Hey there, Hope. Hi. Welcome. That you didn't get to visit the Tiger King before. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
Uh, Rosie, hey there. Liam and I are enjoying watching. Awesome, oh, guys thank enjoying you. it. Nice to see you. Uh, oh, Harry Potter. Hello, there. Harry Potter. You're a wizard, Harry. Uh, what was your favourite nighttime show? Oh, oh, well. I loved them all. Yeah. I don't think I had a favourite. I really loved the uh, Mickey's Party one. Yeah. Ready the, to pie. The music was really good. That was good. so fun. But that was really yeah, fun. Was like so just seeing everyone just just dancing, dancing yeah. down Main Street. It's just one of the, it's just a different experience than yeah. seeing fireworks, isn't it? It's so fun. The thing is that we heard that song when we went to Disneyland Paris for Mickey's 90th because they had the annual pass uh, 90th birthday. Mm -hmm. We heard that song. I was like, That's such a good song. And then yeah. when we saw, it, I went, I know this song. So we were just yeah, really enjoying it. Phantasmic was really good. It was different to obviously Florida's one because it's on there like a island where that like, Tom Sawyer's Island area is. Um, which was good. I liked it. And World of Colour was just amazing. It was beautiful. Yeah. And Fantasmic is probably the best Fantasmic yeah. that I've seen. Best one I've Shock seen. Horror. Shock horror. Shock <laughs> horror. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, like, it was really good. Really good. Right. Yours? All right. Everyone wants to see the Lara fly bag. Let me just zip it up. You zip we'll it up. Let's just make it look a little bit tidier. Yeah, it has been used. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's my new Lara fly bag. It's got Disneyland castles on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the most amazing thing ever. What's, yeah, go on. I originally wanted the Disneyland um, castle bag that was just like one big castle yeah. and I really wanted it and it was sold out but they just started bringing these out and I literally was like, I kind of prefer this better. So. Yeah, it's really nice. It was all embroidered, really, yeah. really nice and it was cheaper. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> but it's a nice bag, it's a really good bag. But it, you can fit so much in it mm. and it's a little bit bigger as well. So yeah, that's a really good one. But what's fun? It's missing the green spare <laughs> jersey under it. Do you know what? That came in handy. Didn't it? It did. Yeah. We're talking of a green spare jersey. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, here it is. So when we did our 18 hour layover into New York, mm -hmm. we went to the Disney store, of course. Yeah. And we got this amazing spirit jersey, which I'd never seen before. I've never seen this one before. And it was Tiana one. Which and is looking at it. In the camera, it doesn't it doesn't look as bright. Yeah, because it's got. I'm not it's sure if so I can... glittery and it's, it's got just so like. It's the material. Yeah, it's really it's like good. Like shiny thing. <laughs> I love it. Uh, but yeah, you got the the uh, tiara crown mm. on the top there, which was really nice. Very good, very good. And so that's what goes with Ooh, the red jacket. Oh, here's a question for you. Ready for it? Go on. This one we might we'll end up turning into a podcast right now because we'll just waffle on about this. Ooh. Do you think Randy's donuts are better than Voodoo? Well, to be honest, um, with Voodoo donuts, mm -hmm. I liked it. I loved them. I have heard room. I have heard chatter. Mm. Been to think, Randy and and Kathy, Kathy thank, thank you, you so for the much. $10. That's really kind. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's and, amazing. Um, thank yeah. you so much. Normally, there should, have been, there should have been the thingy that came up. They didn't come Every up. Every little notification. The notification didn't come up. <laughs> oh, thank you. Really appreciate that. That's really sweet of you. Thank you so much. Oh, it did. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Rain Cat, for the $10. That's really appreciated. What? So oh, okay. Oh, it's Robin Hood. I had to get Robin Hood on. Um, but, yeah, ra uh, but yeah, thank you again, Randy. That's really thank sweet you. of you. Really thank you. Really appreciate so much. that. Thank you. have to do that. But I'll just remove. We just want to say we love. Uh, we have been binge watching your videos. Help us to remember our magical moments. Cannot wait to see you back in the parks. Thank oh, you so I much. Can't wait to go back in the parks. I'm super excited. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, sorry, uh, Ada. Back to the question. Well, I didn't mind video donuts when we had them. They were really good. They were quite well high priced. Like, I mean, overpriced. <laughs> they were really nice, but I do think the Randy's donuts were better. A little it's bit. It's weird. Like we're talking from a glazed, basic glazed donut. Uh, Belfast Brunch, thank you for the for subscribing. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, the um, the glazed donuts, so the original ones, they're very different because one was really fluffy and one was very gooey. Yes. Oh, they were both very nice. So you're probably asking why why <laughs> we say this. So but Steph's philosophy in life is always if they can do the basics, it's really good. So if you go to a pizza joint, if they can do a really good margarita, it's you're a good place. You're on for a winner. If they can do a basic donut, a glazed donut, mm -hmm. they're really good. If you can do a basic burger, you're winning. You're winning. So don't it, yeah. don't worry about anything else. Yeah. So when you saw you the booty donuts, but you saw Steph to see a regular glazed donuts, why I had the box? Because I've never had a, a, a donut from there, and yeah. like you were like, what do I want? I said, actually, I just want a glazed donut That's because I want to know what you like. And then I just turned up, went, we'll just get a box. Thank you very much. <laughs> I couldn't believe you did that. I was like, well, what was funny was was I sat there, I got the box, and then I walked out, and I just went. 
Oh, I've got to go to the parks with this. And I went, yeah, we're going to have to stick that in a locker. And we was like, well, we're going to have to find out whether or not the, the, the lockers are big enough for a box. And so if you ever have that question in your life and you went, I'm going to get some voodoo donuts now, <laughs> you can stick it in a locker in California. So there you go. Yeah. There you are. So there's your question. Uh, but yeah, I prefer <laughs> Randy's just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, uh, where are we? Me and my fiance are massive Disney fans. We've been to Walt Disney World a lot. We're thinking of doing California for our honeymoon. Yes, do it. It's really good. Have you guys stayed at Pop? Yes, we did. We stayed there on our last four nights. June, yeah. June, June last, last year. June last year. So if you want to check out our 2019 vlog, we, we did a Pop stay. Always talking about food, Dean. Always. We're a food and travel channel. What Disney hotel <laughs> do you prefer? Um, oh. If you're asking which ones we stayed in, um, probably Pop was probably my favourite at the moment. But ones we want to stay in is Animal Animal Kingdom Lodge. Mm. We want to stay there really badly. But so far, Pop is my favourite. Yeah. Pop's and my another favorite. place I would love to try is uh, Yacht and Beach. Is it Yacht yeah, and Yacht Beach, Beach as well? Yeah. That yeah. looked really nice. It's really good. It's really, really good. Oh, we didn't end up uh, picking up the box. It was too big for the uh, hand luggage, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, wouldn't have been able to. I accidentally showed it to her and I went, I've just made a big mistake here because yeah, you can't fit it. But we couldn't, we couldn't bring it, unfortunately. But do you know what? I was fine. It was cool. Yeah. Honest. <laughs> fine. She's not sore. She's not sore. <laughs> um, what were the Korean cheese dogs like? I've been dreaming about them. Oh, my life. Really they are good. really good. However, yes. don't get them with the sugar. So when I went there, she just put, they put sugar on yeah. them. And I was just like, oh, and they didn't really offer, but apparently you can it, ask it's without. Normal, it's normal to have yeah. sugar in, on them. Yeah. But so they're really good. You've got a really stringy one over mine. I mean, how many takes I had to take to try and get a stringy there? She's like, stringy. record it again. It's a stringy. <laughs> so so yeah. trying. They're really good. They're they are good. a bit far out to get to, and there's not much else around worth the it. area, but it was worth, worth it. Worth it. It was so worth <laughs> it. Uh, what was the best part of your last trip? Just being in a new park was really nice. Uh, being in the place where it all started was was pretty amazing. That was my main yeah. my main thing that I enjoyed mm. the most about it, why I remember the most. Why do we like Block Hotel so much? Um, I think it's just Bad due news. to um, just preference really, um, how convenient it is. Yeah. Um, for us, we're not, I mean, we normally get there when the sun's setting and like, we're not really that, that bothered if we have a window or not. And sometimes no. it, it can work out a little bit cheaper to like have, have no window. Mm. And the fact is that it's really cozy in there. Smells amazing, and um, because ninety percent of the time we fly with British Airways, yeah, and because it's on the same terminal where Block is, we're right next to the security, so we literally walk out of the mm -hmm. lift, and literally security is to our left. And they've got um, uh, if you if you sign up to the free loyalty yeah, VIP, VIP thing, yeah. you get a um, uh, you get free tea and coffee the like, next day. Yeah, Joe's Kitchen, and you also get premium security fast track free security sort of thing Sorry. um so yeah it's really really good um i mean obviously we normally stay in like the non-window lift sort of rooms because we yeah. just find them really cozy it was really cool uh, but there are other rooms with windows yeah. and stuff and the fact is that we don't really have breakfast as well we've noticed that we don't really no. have breakfast or anything like that we just we just want a place to stay That's yeah it. so there we go and also sometimes it's cheaper to stay there than it is to stay in like Sometimes, sometimes it can be cheaper than Premier Inn depending yeah. on when you get there but yeah that's why we stay there but like time. if we do find a, another hotel that's nearby who's cheaper at the time and we need to we'll, we'll go for that sort yeah, of definitely yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, will you be going to Paris when it's open again I'm meant to be there right now um, uh, like we said previously um, we, we will go back there we won't go on opening day yeah. We'll wait until like flying is a little bit more safer or like everything's sort of like the mm. kicks have been kicked out. I think realistically we're we'll probably Christmas. looking November time maybe. Yeah, November I don't know, but yeah. Maybe Halloween. We don't know. Maybe. We'll see what we can do. But <laughs> yeah, like we will be definitely going, but not just just yet. Yeah. So yeah. Um, whoa, Sandy! Whoa, Sandy, thank you so much. Thank you for all your fun. I look forward to it. Thank you so much for the fifty dollars. That's really kind thank of you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Um, just say you don't have to do the super chats. It's totally up to you. But thank you so much. It's really kind to do that. Really appreciate um, that. Thank you so so much. Any second now, my gift will come up, but it's going to be a while. So <laughs> I apologise. We, we can literally do it within seconds. Oh, thank thank you, you so much, much. Son, uh, Sandy. That's oh, really sweet of you. Uh, best dance. When is your next trip? No clue. Not, not, not a clue. Not a clue. <laughs> not a clue. <laughs> it's pretty much like like what we said on Sunday, wasn't it? It's everything's all up in the air. I think we're just not 
planning anything at the moment. We yeah. just want to get back on our feet. And, yeah. yeah, it was the. But don't worry. It will. Thank you, Sandy. We will be on that plane. We will be on the plane soon. When we're good and ready. Well, soon. <laughs> thank you, Sandy, for that. Really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Also to Randy as well. Thank you very yeah. much for the um, other donation. That was really sweet of you. Any thank cheeky you so much. quick theme park trips in the future plan after everything? Um, at the moment, nothing yet. Like we said, we mm. may go to Disneyland Paris, like maybe Halloween, Christmas time. I think I just um, saw a question, um, question about Thought Park or something. We were thinking about trying to do the um, the new. Um, oh yeah, we were invited to check yeah. out the Black Mirror attraction. But obviously, it's all been postponed and so everything. So. so I don't know now if we, they're just going to. We open. are kind of intrigued by that. Yeah. So we, we, you never know. There yeah. might be some UK. Um, can't get my words out today. <laughs> UK theme park vlogs. Yes. You never know. We'll see what we can do. Uh, but yeah, um, is Disney uh, Disneyland in China on the cards for the future? Definitely, Definitely. on the cards. Yeah. One hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. So be be ready for those. Will vlogs. you be doing a Disney Run event again? Um, yes. This year is a no go. It actually was confirmed yesterday, wasn't yeah. it? That Disney the one in September is has been cancelled. Which so, fair enough. That's fine. I'm yeah. not. I'm not ready. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I'm not really ready for a run now after all the lockdown remember, and sitting indoors. I remember like our friends going, "Are you okay? You know, you're not angry." I'm like, "No, nope, I think I'm okay. <laughs> I'm not ready. So, I've yeah. been in lockdown." Yeah. <laughs> Just... um, but like, I'm hoping they do the the princess run next year in May, and also the obviously they're going to do the September one. But hopefully, they do the princess run because I'd like to do that next Hello, year. Hello, Chloe. So, yeah, that'd you be remember. Something. Do Disney pay its cast members well? When we were there, yeah, it was a little mm. bit lower than com so uh, waiters or servers were paid low because they relied on tips. So they were. That, but, I think they yeah, were average. I think. Good. I think as well. We can't. We don't know what it's like now because yeah, obviously uh, you, you, we're talking about what eleven years ago, something yeah. like that, when we used to work there. So a lot, a lot's changed. Yeah, but we, I thought we were paid very well at yeah. the time. Do you guys like to watch? What do you got? Who, oh, sorry, who do you guys like to watch on YouTube? Oh my gosh, we we're going we're going down the rabbit hole at the moment, aren't we? With many many like creators from different different areas. So, well, so the first one is Tom Syndicate or yeah. Life of Tom. We've been watching him for a good few years yeah. now. We're huge fans of him because he does traveling as well. He's been to Disney parks as well. Mm -hmm. He's he mainly does like streams on Twitch and he does like video games, but he does have like a vlogging channel and we're big fans of them. We love. Yeah. Them watching his videos there's another person called daz games he does a lot of like reaction videos and he's really funny um but yeah we like watching them um there's been a lot of like animal crossing funny moments because we've pretty much been hiding under a rock playing animal crossing and when people say well. um um how are you getting on we'd like to see a uh, daily vlog i'm literally like it's just literally us sitting on a i sofa. have just been playing on yeah. animal crossing I've been designing my island. I'm literally well. like, I, I, I don't know how to put this. Yeah. I'm really sorry. I've been so, I've been motivated in that game. I mean, I've racked up so many steps and lifted so many things, put many things in my pockets, carried sharks and everything. Fit as a fiddle. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I did see a comment before from Freddie, I think it was. He said, are you guys from Eastbourne? Yes, we are. Mm. We are from Eastbourne, yes. Um, I got I'm originally from Merseyside. Yes. But we, yeah, live here but we live in Eastbourne. Yeah. Yeah. Um, love the gift, Dave. Thank you very much. Um, have you have you been doing any Disney DIYs during quarantine? We have been making oh, been making masks. Yeah, I've been making. Yeah. We have got some like Disney uh, like, patch materials, and we've been making masks. Yeah. Obviously, when public transport, you have to wear a mask. We're gonna be all Disneyfied. Yeah. It's good. And then when we go to Paris, I mean, obviously, we're gonna end up needing face coverings, aren't we? Like masks. So, yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah, we've been, been doing, doing some that. of that. So yeah. Thank you for saying hi. Please can you say hi to Chloe, Karen, and George. We're all Hello. Together. Welcome. Hi. Hope you're doing well. Nice Thank you for watching the videos together or our video together. We really appreciate it. I hope you're well. <laughs> I've been watching Animal Crossing vids too. Yes. Um, do, do, have you seen ja Trackers Jackson? We've not. No, we've we've been talking to them and everything yeah. like that. We love them very much. But yeah, we haven't seen. Hopefully one day we will yes. see Jackson. Definitely. Can't wait for the cuddles. Yes. Can't <laughs> wait. Can't wait. Come visit my island. Ha! <laughs> we can all do like a massive island meetup. Oh, that would be great. That would be cool. Um, so, oh, we've got one more thing to show. Oh, yeah. One more thing. It was thing. just in there. It was from New York, wasn't it? So, this is the last thing we bought from New York, um, which we're again, I think this was on sale. 
Oh, I love Cara and Nate's travel vlogs. Yeah, we yes. watched. We started watching them last year. I think it was Probably two years, two years, ago, years ago, ago. I think. Yeah. Yeah. They no, they, they were really good. They did a, the uh, expedition camp. Base camp, base camp one. Trip. I don't really want to yeah. do it. I've always wanted to do it, and when I found out that they vlogged it, I was like, "We're doing this." And I was like, "Dave, I really want to do this." So yeah. And Dave's literally like looking at me like, "Why?" Yeah. <laughs> so this is the last thing we've got from our merch, which is it's a shirt. It's an oversized shirt. Oversized shirt, uh, pink or red? It's a red stripe, and it's got little Mickey hats on. Yeah, they look <laughs> like it. Yeah. So yeah. That's that shirt. It was really yeah. nice. This was the last thing we got from Cali. How long have we been together? Uh, I want to say about 11 years. Are we 11 years now? 2009. So yes, 11 years. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Tommy Cook, thank you very much for the $19.99. Oh, thank, so thank you so much. It was really kind of you. The video is always so fun to watch. I hope you can come back to California and Disneyland in the future. For sure. Definitely. A lot, a lot of local restaurants and hidden gems to oh. recognize. Is there? Yes. yes, thank you. Thank you, thank so you very much, much for that. Really appreciate it. Yeah, no, we're, we're not like when people said, oh, you know, Disneyland, you can get it done in three days. No, no, I, I feel like we need to do it more. I, we were like invested into this. <laughs> I think I, we wanted to do it for like, I would say 10 days yeah. in Disneyland, 100%. So yeah, definitely in the future. But I, I, we absolutely loved it. Had the time of our lives. Yeah, we had a really good time. Um, Steph, have you had success buying merch on the Shop Disney UK store? I'm trying to buy my Minnie Mouse main attraction merch from the US with no luck. I've not bought anything from US. the online online stores in a while. So, no. yeah, I don't know about that one. It's probably best speaking to, to like Disney directly and see if... Anyway. Yeah, so... Thank uh, you so much, Amy. Hello. A little fly has just come in. Yeah. Just joined us. <laughs> we've left the window open and uh, the whole bug's like, come in. <laughs> uh, should have been in Paris this week with my three old niece, oh, our no. first trip in two, 20 years. Well, have you? I hope you get to rebook it or yes. definitely go back when everything gets, you know, comes down a bit uh -huh. bad. But you will return 100%. And it will be worth it. Yes, you will definitely be the best worth it. Ever. What's your favourite Disneyland ride? Disneyland California ride? I actually really liked um, the Alice in Wonderland ride. Oh, that was cute. That was really good. I tell you, what, controversial. Controversial. The bobsleigh one was the most roughest ride I have ever been in. If you have sore, if you have sore joints, or just don't want your joints to be shaked to oblivion, don't go on that ride. That ride was oh so painful. I, I just, just, I just, I just remember going. My back's not meant to be bending this way. <laughs> So and because the ride goes so fast, the amount of time I tried to record on that ride with the Yeti was just blur. <laughs> just blur. But yeah. I think, I think that just sums it up though, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It's just the uh, yeah. yeah uh, refund sorted, we'll book it for, for 2020. And awesome, Martin. Good. Glad good you got stuff. the refund. That's good to see. Uh, yes, yeah, Matt, no, I'm no. So hurts. Just um, put some. But I have that feeling with um, Animal Kingdom. Um, I love the safari. Don't get me wrong, I love the... the Depends who's driving it, though. Yeah, but I love the safari. I love, I love it. it. I love it to bits. But I know they wanted... Because when we were on the backstage safari, so they went, the reason why we've made the road bumpy was to give it the real-life effect. Yeah, that's fine. Come on. However, let, let's not go over it too let's fast. Let's not go over the joint too much, because it's like, just, you know, <laughs> a little bit smoother. A little uh, bit smoother. We don't have a PO box at this moment in time. We, uh, we okay. are um, trying to figure that one out. Yeah. So we will let you know once uh, we have one set up. So yeah, we will do one definitely. Um, are you excited for Avengers Campus? Yes, we are super excited for Avengers Campus. Really excited for yeah, it. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. Did you just hear that? Yeah. Sorry, we've got a blue bottle that's just randomly come in. We've got the window open and it's just gone bang. It's just one of those moments. One of those moments. Exactly. Uh, around the Matterhorn and that's the new track. Imagine how it was a few years ago. True. Do you guys like Expedition Everest? Love it. Love it. Great it's ride. Best thing ever. I love it to bits. Still can't understand why there's so many bubbles, you know, like her ties on the mountain. Yeah. I d I'm still trying to figure out, like, is this a tradition? Is it a group? Like, I, it, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So, yeah, I, don't, yeah, I want to find out if there's like a group on Facebook, yeah. like the Bob Slay Expedition <laughs> Everest people. I don't know. Uh, how are the bunnies? The bunnies are good, They're Holly. Great. They're really good. They're, They're just really good. Running around the house, enjoying themselves. They're enjoying us being at home every day. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, yeah. this is normal, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, 
Oh, the US store ships to the UK, but you have to pay shipping and customs. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is true. They, they are quite expensive, the shipping. Yeah. Um, hello from Southern California. Hey there, Brian. Ooh. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Uh, unfortunately, we have shown up all the merch, so I do apologize. But we are re going to re-upload this to YouTube, so with timestamps, obviously, you yeah. can check it out later on if you wish. But if you want to say hi, welcome. Yeah. First, thank you. Second, I grew up going around Orange County. Thank you for giving some love to our little castle and DCA. What was the best vendor <gasps> food you had here? Oh my gosh! Um, like, do you know? Do you know? This was another thing. You know about the castle. Like, everyone says, "Oh, it's so tiny." You go and look at it, and you go, "Oh my god, where is it?" I looked at it and went, it's not that "That's actually so sweet." Yeah. Like, I was just like, "Oh it's my the, god!" It's, it's the camera. It's the camera that gives it the deception of it looks tiny. Yeah. But when you're looking at it there, it's actually a really it's nice just size. So sweet for what it. I was just like, "Wow!" Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I loved it. But, uh, but what was your favourite food that you had there? My favourite snack had to be um, the animal cookie milkshake from oh, DCA. Oh yeah, for the food. I oh, absolutely God. loved well, that. Well, and I remember when you said, what was your favourite? And I went, out of everything, that yeah. it was just the best. <laughs> best combo was the mint julep and uh, beignets. Yeah. They're my favourite combos. Um, if you're going outside the parks, um, I really, even though it was expensive, I really enjoyed the Belvedere brunch. Oh yeah. It was oh. really nice. Again, it was really pricey, but it was really nice. Worth and the it. setting was really cool. And the, there wasn't a lot of food, but the food that was cooked really well. And like, there was so enough good. food, I think. Yeah. Like, it, oh, it was just, oh, it was just divine. So yeah, it was, it was really so good. Lovely. Yeah, send Chewie over. Oh, definitely, Zoe. <laughs> exactly. Uh, did you not get anything from Galaxy's Edge? I no, don't know. no. Um, I Although it would be what. very cute to see the um, the droids in that little. Yes. Build a droid sort of area. I was like, my heart was. It yeah. was just, it was adorable. <laughs> but they were ninety nine dollars each to build. Yeah. That to be fair, um, but it, do you know what? That was another thing as well because we we don't have we didn't have um, Disney Plus when we arrived there, and um, yeah. Delor you know we didn't know what the Mandal Mandalorian, Mandalorian was, so um, we we weren't really like oh, no, we were like I'm not going to commit to it yet. You know, don't know what it's like and stuff. Now, now that we've watched it and we get everything now, and we're like, oh, right. It's really good. Let's go back. Also, we tried to get into the cantina, but that was super yeah. busy. Um, again, the lightsaber thing is really expensive to build. Mm. I was like, that's expensive. So, but yeah, we didn't get much stuff, but there was a lot of good stuff to, mm. to see and to buy. Um, but yeah, out of all the marathons you guys have, which one was your favourite? Um, I've shared the most recent one that we did yeah. last year was probably my favourite. Mm. Um, I think yeah, because it was right. coupled, wasn't it? Yeah. And the way that the characters were, they, they were on podium, so you were able to run past them without so queuing, real, sort yeah. of thing. So there was a lot of them that were, you know, um, you didn't have to queue, you just took a selfie and you just waved and had a chat with them and then, like, like ran off again. I think I really like that. Yeah, they were really good. Um, what oh. about a trip to, uh, I would love to go to Hawaii. Oh, that would love to. Nice. Um, yeah. Maybe one day in the future, 100%. Um, this castle isn't supposed to be the focal point of the park. That's true. Mm -hmm. That is very true. It's actually the entrance to Fantasyland. Yeah. Which we didn't know that. And everyone's like, no, like every, you know, you've got the hub and then you've got all the entrances to all the areas and the castle is just a, an entrance to Fantasyland. It wasn't. And I was like, I was literally like, That's whoa. <laughs> that was jaw dropping moment. That was. That was. Is Disneyland food better than Walt Disney World? Yes, Holly. Yeah. Yes. It yeah. is so much better. Controversial, but yeah. It's yeah, so great. good. It's so much range, variety. Like you'll see when when I do the video next Thursday, you'll see all the ranges that we had. And it was mm -hmm. just that's what we had there. It was so good. Oh, thank you, Lucy. Thank you very much. Uh, what was your favourite ride in Disneyland? Um, I said uh, Alice in Wonderland. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy yeah, as well. DCA, that was yeah. from DCA. It was amazing. Carif California oh, I keep calling it California Screaming. It's not Incredible that. Incredible <laughs> Hello, Chris and Steve. How are you doing? Hey there. Hope you're well. Hey there, Holly. Welcome. Hope you're doing well, my love. Um, we all need a baby odor in our lives. That's true, Dean. We all do need oh that. Oh my gosh. Like, seriously. So, uh, so cute. Uh, <laughs> it's like the cutest thing ever. Tokyo Disney Vox is your favorite. Yeah, I say Tokyo is our the favorite. Top. Yeah. yeah. Definitely the top. It's, it, oh, it's just amazingly good. Amazingly good. 
Hello Stevie, hello from Cali, hello. Hello Savage, how you doing? Oh, Holly's here, hello, how are you hey, doing? Holly. Breakfast at Co um, Goofy's Kitchen, did you do it? Do you know what, we didn't do any um, character dining. Now, to be honest, we were trying to do Plaza Gardens, or well, not Plaza Gardens, or the Crystal Palace place. Yeah. But it was always so booked up, mm. so we couldn't do it. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Louise. We're very well, thank you. I hope you're well. Disneyland turkey led chimichanga or corn dog. Oof. Uh, bre breakfast chimichanga was pretty incredible. Yeah. Chimichanga. They were really good. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> uh, Got to go now. Thank you. No worries, Chloe. Yay, Take care. Thank you for checking us out. Um, I hope the music still. The music's still going good. Do you like Toy Story Land? Yeah, love it. Really good in Florida. Uh, Disneyland Paris one's pretty decent. Mm. Uh, Florida one's the best though, because Slinky Coast is pretty incredible. Do you know what? I was thinking that I wasn't going to enjoy that that ride when we were there. Yeah. I was actually like, mm, okay. I think I'm because I'm just like, I want something thrilling. But actually, when you're on it, you go, actually, you're pretty good. <laughs> I was like, I take it back. It's take fine. It back. Um, did we eat at Bengal barbecue? We didn't. No, we were so. It was our last. Yeah, I know we, we didn't were going to do, do it. We were going to do it on the, the half day. We, we did the doing. other place, didn't we? Yeah, we did the one near Jungle Cruise. Where it had all the, the bow buns. Buns. different. Yeah, yeah bow buns. we went there. Yeah. And then we were going to go, we'll go tomorrow. And then obviously uh, things happened. Yeah. And then we had our tour and then we just completely we just, forgot. We just need a good on 10 days ten solid days in Disney. Disney. Like, <laughs> you know, like I always said before, a lot of people said, oh, you can get it done in like two or three days. We nah. didn't scratch. Like the surface, literally, did we? The best thing about Disneyland is the fast pass system, the actual, you know, the express pass or whatever you call yeah, it. Yeah, that was good. The uh, yeah, the actual, you know, the mm. the, the max pass. Sorry, it was yeah. such a good value. So it helped us out a lot. Oh, watching us from Italy, fantastic! Hello. 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 Hope you're doing well. Yeah. I think Tokyo is so attentive. Yeah, definitely true. Mm -hmm. um, it's such a great theme park. Like the the even though all the cast members in every, every other Disney park look after you. I always feel that they go the extra mile. I feel like it's just on a another level. Another level. It's yeah. just oh, it's just yeah. It's, it's so amazing. Good. It's just even stepping foot off the plane, it was just the most amazing. We had the most amazing time. Yeah, like just loved amazing it. time. Um, yeah. So favorite Disney film? Mine is either Robin Hood or Sword in the Stone. I like the classics. I love them. Mm -hmm. And Steffi's is of course Lion King. Lion King, the original yeah. Lion King. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of all the cancelled things at Disney World? Are still worth going? Um, my personal opinion is I would personally wait. Mm. Um, if you think about it, if you're going to go to a park that has no parades, no shows, no meet and greets, or limited meet and greet, it's limited, but also dining places are going to be, you know, it's going to be half capacity. It's, it's still worth, if you, if you, I would say if you live in the area, it's worth going, but yeah, for traveling wise, yeah. yeah. For traveling wise, it's, it's, it's going to be very hard. Um, so it's, but it's up to you. Yeah. My personal opinion is I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't mm. travel all the way there for. for we can totally get why they're doing it, and yeah. there's, you know, there's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I just, yeah, I feel like if you want the full on Disney, you, you know, you gotta go full Disney. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go full Disney. Definitely. Go full so Disney. extra. Let's go so, crazy. It's fine. I personally say it'd be worth waiting until the restrictions get lifted, and then they open more capacity yeah. and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um. Why are the parades shorter at Disney World but longer in Paris? I have no clue, actually. That's a good, I, don't I don't know, actually. Know. Maybe it's a, is it a longer route, do you reckon? Or? I mean, they have two parades in Paris as well. Two times, yeah. yeah they they go it, back they one way done, and they come back the other way. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know, actually. Hmm. Maybe because it feels longer in Paris because like the, the route is actually technically shorter in Paris. I don't know, in maybe Florida, it's just feeling from... like an illusion sort of thing. Yeah. Because in Florida they have to go through Frontierland, then through Liberty mm. section, then down Main Street, while the thing, and they just literally go from small I mean, down. I mean, that, that's if that's if the parade's on in Paris. I mean, weather permitted. Weather permitted, do you know what I mean? Um, uh, food and wine or flower and garden? Flower and garden. Yeah, flower and garden. Um, one thing we took off our bucket list after we watched was, yeah, don't. Don't. Oh, right. Like, it's not right. I'm sorry, I know so there is a lot of opinions here. Like we're going, don't do this. Don't, don't do, do this. <laughs> if you want to do it, do it. I mean, like seriously, if you're intrigued, go for it. If you can get a tester, do that. A sample, I would suggest doing that. Suggest doing that. Probably. But it just it just <laughs> tasted like a slush, 
made with milk. It was a milky slush. It didn't taste the best. It was a really weird texture. Mm. Um, but then people were saying, mix them, mix them. We went, all right, we'll mix it. And they're worst, worst decision ever. <laughs> but one of them's like, the best way, one of them's tropical, which is very similar to like a squash in the, if you're from the UK, a mm-hmm. squash. Yeah, I quite one, like that one. Yeah, and then the citrus one was just didn't taste nice. No, I, I preferred the blue. Yeah, it's true. Um, we have oh, we have seen this film casting for Hercules. Sorry, mm. this was answered before, but I'm not sure if it's real or not. I don't know. It looks interesting. Yeah, we tried to look on like IMDb, didn't we, yeah. and all of that, and this wasn't sure really official. coming up. So yes. So yeah. But if it is, go for it. Exactly. Can we expect more Chef Dave attempts on any new snacks you tried in? California. Um, I can look into it. Um, I have thought about it. I've just been trying to. I have one video I need to put out, which was a Tonga toast, which I need to put out, mm. which is edited and everything. I actually, just stick that out. But I want to do the California food first. So yeah, um, I will look into doing things. I'll have a look into it. But yeah, mm-hmm. definitely yeah. Do you guys go to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas? We have vlogged it once. I think it was 2014 that we did it. Uh, But we've not been there. We've not been during that time, like since. So yeah. 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 But we have been to the Paris ones. Yeah. That helps. Disneyland Fantasmic or World of Color? Oh. Oh. That's a hard one. They are so different. I mean, if I could compare like Fantasmic with, I mean, Walt Disney World or Tokyo, I would say. Disneyland's one, like, like, because I would say Disneyland, then Tokyo, then yeah. Walt Disney World. Yeah. But I really liked California's one. Like, I did love both. So I love Phantasmic and Lord of Color. Yeah. They were both great in Disneyland California. They were so good and so different. And it was yeah, really nice very different. different. Yeah. Have you ever called the Rainy Day Parade in Paris? Oh, uh, the Rainy Day Parade in uh, Disneyland? Because we saw it many times. In, Ca- in California, yeah, we saw it many times. Yeah, many, many times. We only managed to see half of the parade, didn't we? Because we had really bad weather and we only saw half the parade and we actually didn't get to see it again when we were yeah. there. <laughs> we were like, no. <laughs> yeah. Hey there, Matthew. New to the channel. Hi. Is there a video to get to know you, who you are, what you do? Is we there... have a few series of like Q&As, Q&As that we yeah. have on our um, on our channel. So, uh, yeah, I'll have a little check on those. Yeah. But yeah, welcome. welcome. Welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, don't feel bad for the missing the canteen, it's just a smelly bar, a smelly, loud, stinky bar. Oh. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> thanks for letting me know. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited for Jurassic World 3. Yep, it's going to be super good. World of Color 100%. Not Dizzy Ray, would you come back to Italy? If yes, where would you like to go? Oh, yes. <sighs> I would love to go back to Florence again. Florence, I think I back. fell in love with uh, Tuscany. Like, it was just beautiful. Um, we lived, we, we lived, we stayed on a, um, a vineyard, didn't we? It was yeah. just the most, oh, it was Signa. brilliant. Signa. Yeah. It was really nice. We've got a train there. I would like to go to Amalfi Coast. I'd like mm-hmm. to go there. I'd like to go to Milan. I've never been to Milan. Mm-hmm. Um, so maybe more north of Italy as well. So that'd be nice to go to. But yeah, anywhere really in Italy. Oh, hello from Boston. Hello. hello. Is Tokyo a better part than Disney World? Yes. How's the training going? Good, it's all right. Yeah. Got some got some doms going on right now. Yeah. But <laughs> You'll see a new video out this Sunday where Steph's in partnership with Muscle Food, so go check that out as well, as well on Sunday. So yeah, yeah. Well, um, really I have good. been training throughout lockdown, so yeah, it's yeah. been Doing really good. It's been fine. It's been good. Hey there, uh, Katharina. Welcome. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. Oh, the favourite fireworks. A bit happily ever after. Happily ever after. Tops. Pretty. Yeah. It's pretty epic. The yeah. Music's amazing. The projections are good. Yeah. Top tips for booking Disneyland Paris. Um, my opinion is, so it, it depends on your budget. If you want to stay on Disney, you're going to have to book it through Disney because they're pretty much possibly the best prices. You can go on like Speedia or Booking.com. Sometimes they will have rooms there. Yeah. Um, I would if, say buy it as a package yeah. and see if you can get the free dining as yeah. well included in that. And if you do the free dining, book in advance. Yeah, don't do it on the day no. or day before do all of it in advance call them up and book them um, i don't know if they have an app yet where they can book yet uh, I feel that it's in can, it's in progress at the moment you can so this is a really weird one you can book rest, re, uh, restaurants mm-hmm. in disneyland but you have to be in the netherlands so there, apparently you can log into the netherlands account and book yeah. it through there so it's that is still in trial yeah but yeah but um if you want to do off-site and save a bit of money Stay in the Abyss Hotel, really cheap. Book it through a core website. It's a core, uh, like a, I think a, Hyde Park as well is really good. Hyde Park's well. really good, yeah. Um, but yeah, 
book it through there and then you can it takes you about 20 to 30 minute walk to get i say we'd say that, like 25 minutes mm. to walk to disneyland uh, you can get a bus that takes you there for free if you're staying in um the is it high park yeah yeah high park hotel there's a free bus that takes you up there it does get very busy during when it closes mm -hmm. um but yeah there's those available and then um and yeah. you're in Valdi Europe Valdi. as well, so there is a massive shopping centre there, so there's a lot of places to eat. So like McDonald's, there's yeah. supermarkets. There's, there's, there's Primani there. Primani there as well. Um, also, if you're going for more than four days, I would really consider getting an annual pass because it is cheaper. Or it actually works out cheaper for you, so mm -hmm. that's something to do as well for you. Oh, we've been to, I've been to Venice. Have you been to Venice? I've been to Venice, I've been to Venice on a um, uh, university trip. Yeah. Yeah. Come to Turin, I'd love to come to Turin. I believe that's Juventus uh, football club. Favorite part of walking walks footsteps. It was the apartment. Oh, yeah. The apartment. Was Hands the down. Part. I think that was worth it. Oh, it was just amazing. It was worth its price. I was crying. My yeah, ass it was amazing. <laughs> They're like, we're going to take photos, and uh, you two are, um, the are in the in the exact spot where we need to take the photo, and I'm like, why now? <laughs> You can't record it now, unfortunately. No. You can't, but yeah, it's a really, it's amazing, and it's such yeah, hist you history. Get one photo, don't you? Uh, that a cast member has to take, and they have so to take place. it at a particular angle. Yeah, sort of thing. So that's good. Uh, looking really good, selfie, nice, healthy clothes. Yeah. Looking awesome. Would you go to Shanghai Disney? Yes, definitely, Lucy. Uh, top tips for booking LA and Disneyland: Sky Scanner. Mm -hmm. Everything through Sky Scanner. Seriously, yeah. your flights. Really consider looking into. Um, layovers they can save you a lot of money our flights just the two of us with the layovers that we had cost us 600 pounds for the two of us return and so it was worth it it was yeah, we it was got to cheaper. see i mean i wish that we got to see more of vegas but, uh, but things happen but we got to see um new york as well yeah and it kind of cut the journey up and it, even though in, in, in new york at the end of the day we were we were gone we yeah. were tired we were but tired. do you know what we fell asleep on the plane but it split up that sort of journey yeah. sort of thing so it kind of gave us you know less of a jet lag i'd mm. say because it would have been 600 pounds per person direct yeah. and it was 600 pounds each for both of us to put a layover so someone has asked a question which is another controversial one did you go to in and out burger yes, yes. we did no. We're not fans. Maybe we had a bad team, bad site, I don't it know. It was near to the end of closing. It was near the end of closing, that's true. And I it, don't it know. wasn't that good. See, it was good. The burger was good because it, Yeah, the, the burger was okay, yeah. But then the fries were like it was so dry. They're like oh my gosh, Dave is just like On it. On it. He's sassy today, isn't he? But yeah, they were the burger was good, but if I'm honest, if someone, if I was standing in front of an In-N-Out burger or a Five Guys, I'd go to a Five Guys. Mm. I know that sounds really crap. I'm sorry. Oops. People are going to unsub here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't. But maybe we just had a bad one. Maybe we go back again. We... I would happily try it again. Yeah, I'll try it again. <clears throat> so, it was okay, but it's not, I wouldn't say what it's shame about. What's Primarni like in Paris? It's pretty much the same, same in, like in the UK. Yeah, it is actually the same. Um, yeah. There are, um, there is a bigger sort of Disney sort of um, variety. Yeah, like for example, big, yeah. you know the Mrs. Potts teapots that came out and they literally sold out, you know, it's in just UK, yeah. insane. And like the, the chip cups and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, they had them like like months and months and months later when you know we're, we're all over that sort of over that phase. Over the phase. Um, we went over to Paris and there's loads of them. And it's like it's really interesting on how some some of the stuff is still there or there's new stuff that you've never seen yeah. so yeah it but it's good. exactly the same yeah is there a disney live remake you want disney to make i don't know really i'm really nervous if they i'm really nervous because apparently they're doing sword in the stone and i'm really nervous and robin hood as well apparently they're redoing which i'm really nervous again so but i think it, i mm. think but if they were to do a live remake of robin hood i would prefer them to do the, like the same animation as zootropolis or zootopia because I think the animation works really well and it'd be really cool to have Robin Hood that style. Um, I can't remember the title of it, but um, it wasn't National Treasure, the Atlantis one. Oh, Journey to Atlantis? Or is, it, is it that one? Or Atlantis? It was, an, it was an animated... I can't remember. Yeah. Like, it's gone out of my head. The Atlantis one. I would love to see that as yeah. a live action. People were saying that Tom Holland should be the main character. Apparently he was like the perfect <clears> thing for it, but yeah. Okay. Um, 
how did you first meet him and Jen? Uh, we met at Halloween Horror Nights, yeah. and since then we've um, been friends since. Yeah, came mm-hmm. friends that way. We bumped each other in Halloween Horror Nights, and yeah, just the rest is history. How are you guys staying sane through lockdown? Animal Crossing. Uh, yeah. Animal Crossing. Yeah, I'd say that. Pretty much. <laughs> Were you ever shy before starting YouTube? Yes. Yes. When we first. I was, yeah. We were really, we were like, oh, uh, let's especially do it. like if we were doing like home vlogs. Yeah, home vlogs. Oh, even now, like home vlogs can be a little bit like. I, I go into the range or I go into any shopping a shop with a camera in my hand. I'm so nervous. You're you like, put me in a park. I am. Fine. I'm down with it. I'm <laughs> fine with it. But yeah, when we first started, it was really nerve wracking. But eventually, you yeah. get more confident with it. Uh, is New York worth it? Yes. Ha- uh, we had we had like the pizzas were really good. The place obviously it was a little bit more quiet. To obviously, everything happened, but yeah, I think yeah, I think, I think I think we covered a lot of ground for the, the situation because we did try and get an earlier flight because obviously you know like New York's been hit. Like yeah. I mean everywhere's been hit, but um, at that time. And we were like, you know, what's what's the safest way for us right now? And they actually said, outside, just just go outside. Everything's fine. Just keep doing what you're doing. Like wash your hands. Be a little bit more observant. Yeah. You know, with um, everything that that you're doing. And yeah, I mean, to be honest, we still had a really good time. We just ate food and drank yeah. coffee. And walked around. And walked around because there was a lot of things that obviously was was closed. Um, but yeah, we we racked up some steps, didn't we? Yeah. It was really good. I liked it. Congratulations, Karis, for finally having a baby boy today. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. And yeah, congratulations to you. Oh, and Steph Crows, I cry. I know, I'm so, I'm so bad at crying. <laughs> Reese, thank you for thank subscribing. You, That's really kind of you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm so bad when it comes to crying. Like, genuinely, it's not like I'm sad. It's more I'm, like, really, like, happy and thankful yeah. that I've had an amazing experience. And I think it just all comes back, like, like just thinking about memories of why you know of, of just just everything we got to get there we got to experience it yeah. which was so worth it um did, uh, greetings from the meadows hey there james greetings from wales hope you're doing well we did get the animal fries yes. yes um apparently i mean when when we came home apparently if you ask for your your fries to be extra crispy apparently they taste better yeah. and we should have probably we done that um, that's yeah. true how many days would you do uh, Disney California if it's your first visit? We'll probably do a, a seven week. day a yeah. week. Yeah, a full Definitely. week. Definitely. And then we probably another days. week traveling other places traveling and stuff. Days, yeah. What's your favorite food slash snack in, snack in DLP? Ooh. There's two Nutella crepes. Really oh, good. anything. I mean, everything's Nutella, Nutella crepes. Great. Also, if they have it, go and find um, Pride the Pride Rock or Pride uh, Simba. Oh, the Croc Bichur. Croc Bichur, which has the Simba yeah, logo on good. it. It's really good. Good. They're my favourite ones. I thank you. We are so happy. Good. Awesome, Karis. Congratulations to you. I really wish the UK had Joffrey's. Oh, I know. Well, Lucy, you can order Joffrey's. Mm. Um, we ordered it a couple of months ago. Surprised that we didn't get a customs charge. People were saying you're going to get... Unless that's yeah. left. <laughs> it's yeah. coming in the mail. <laughs> yeah. People were saying you may get a letter saying customs charge, but we haven't we received, haven't received any. anything. And we bought that like at least two months ago. Yeah, so so it's really, I d- I, maybe, maybe they marked something on the customs thing as something else. I don't know. And I don't we, we haven't received anything. We did, but I did. I did spend like sixty dollars worth of it, and that yeah, was inc- that, was, got... that was including yeah. postage as well. And it was only six fourteen dollars postage, which isn't too bad comparing mm. what it used to be. And it was really quick. Yeah, it came really quick. Yeah, like FedEx quick. Yeah. Uh, do you think Disney food is <laughs> massively? Yeah. Are they the fastest? Then? Yeah, it felt fast to me. <laughs> uh, is Disney food massively overpriced? Yes. It is. It is overpriced, but it's a theme park, so that's what you expect. Yeah, really. but it, it is worth it. Yeah, it's good. You can get really good food outside, mm-hmm. like you know, really good other places. We've got Blaze out there, which is good value. We're at the Cheesecake yeah. Factory. It's like if we go to Disneyland Paris, there's a lot of the time that we actually eat off site and yeah. go, to, go to Five Guys. Yeah, but that's true. It's, yeah. it's preference at the end of the day. Do they do Dole Whip at Disneyland Paris? No. Mm. no. Yeah and no. no. They don't. <laughs> oh, they don't. They don't do it. Dave it, is just sassy today. He's literally like, I am an open book right now. So they do they do a thing called a pineapple whip, which is pineapple juice with pineapple bits with vanilla ice cream. <sighs> oh. No. It's not. Yeah, it doesn't it's taste, not it, doesn't, it doesn't taste the same. They, they, they're getting there, though. They're they are getting, getting there. They're getting there slowly, it, but yeah. 
I'm so excited for you guys. I've always made my day. No, oh, thank oh, you very much, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Thank you very much for checking us out. I vote Chef Day. I have done beignets. Oh, yeah, you did pumpkin spice I ones. I did pumpkin spice ones. Mm. Um, so I may do them again, but just regular ones. Mm. I want to try and recreate the chocolate and strawberry one that we had. Because you, you told me a really cool thing, which I'll do in the video, which I may do in the future. But yeah, that's something I do want to do. Do they do what instant coffee? Uh, yeah, you can choose uh, ground, French press, or whole beans. But I don't know if it's instant, as in just pour in the. I think ground one you can have it is. Oh no, it's not instant. No, it's not. No. So no, you can only have it. You have to have, have like a filter coffee machine, like a, a cafetiere, or you just get the whole bean. Yeah. So yeah, those. But are it's good. worth it. Yeah, definitely. I think it will definitely, Chris. Yeah, yeah I think definitely. so. Um, I mean, the Disney run's not going to happen, but I think that's because be they're it. trying to control numbers yeah. in regards to, you know. Mm. I mean, obviously, they're not going to do the run because of numbers, but, no. you know, as a as a whole, if they're going to try and social distance in the parks, yeah. I reckon. Apparently, a, news, a, par a, Paris, uh, a Parisian newspaper found that they've already applied for their... The draft of what they're going to do so mm. apparently it could be very soon so we don't know yeah. but yeah they'll definitely be open by at least September, probably so. like august i reckon yeah like that. oh there you go rachel said it's rumored that they're opening mid-july uh, atlas said one is it better no doll whip and pineapple whip are not the same pineapple doll whip is the best i mean yeah it's there, there are people out there that go oh yeah it's really it's nice really but i think if you're so used to doll whip like a proper doll whip yeah. you, it's so different. It's more like a, um, uh, it's a pineapple float. Mm. So you know we have an American, like, you have yeah. like a, a Coke float when it has like vanilla ice cream and Coke. This is pineapple juice with vanilla ice cream. So it's like a Coke float, but pineapple. Mm. So it's okay, but if you if you, if you want a doll with it, it's not the same. Ooh, Jungle Cruise of the Tiki Room. Mm. Um, bad dad jokes. Bad dad jokes or oh, music. Um, Ooh. Probably, probably say Jungle Cruise, I reckon. Yeah, I'd probably say Jungle Cruise. I mean, because a lot happens. I mean, there's a lot of improv that happens yeah. when things go wrong. It's great. The one thing I realised in Disneyland California, they had no temple section. The when you go yeah, underneath. there's no root canal. There's no root canal I was waiting for my root canal. Yeah, I was waiting for the root canal. Trip, yeah. <laughs> Didn't get it. So, did you say you'd done the parade at Hollywood Studios in terms of was you there? So, um, I was there in 2005 for uh, three months. It yeah. was the ICP, so I was there in between my university days. Yeah, so, yeah I was in there for the summer. Uh, we love how you just let you just down for the food, and it was great to see you in New York for the 18 hours of food. Bring on normality. Yes, thank you very much, Simon. Yeah, we had a good thank time with you. that. Hello, uh, Kelly from New Orleans. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Um, thank you very much for checking thank the stream you. out. Um, we actually might have to finish it now. It's been an yeah. hour and 20 minutes. Oh, um, it's gone so quick. I can't believe it. Yeah. We just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who recently subscribed. Yeah. I can, I can actually pull out the people's names because we have quite a few. Uh, where are you? Oh, it's up on here as well. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, so we want to say a massive thank you to Reese. Uh, we've got Belfast Bunch, uh, Dan FC, Ian Lloyd, uh, Dion? Dion Gibb, Robert R., uh, the Leon C, uh, Sarah uh, Cooley, uh, we had a few people as well before, like Matt Slam Thirteen. So thank you very much for subscribing. And everybody else who's uh, been subscribed to us for yeah, for, thank like, you so much. Through all the years. Yes, we really do. Like. We really do appreciate. It. Also, yeah. uh, Randy, Sandy, and uh, Tommy, thank you very much for the super chats. You didn't have to do that. I was really thank super you. grateful. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, Someone did ask, do we have merch? We have. We do. Yes, we're on Actually, Teespring. We're on Teespring yeah. at the moment. And uh, one of the shirts is just on the bed over there it? if you wanted to have a look. Show that off. Oh, hello, Expedition Theme Park. Sam. He's like, I'm surprised that Dave isn't itching to watch the PS5 announcement in 15 minutes. Why do you think we're ending no. the stream? <laughs> Why do you think we're ending the stream, Sam? How you doing, Sam? I hope all is well. Hope all is good. Do you want to know a, a nice piece of history? Uh, Expedition Theme Park was uh, my old roommate <laughs> when we were in the college, when we did the cultural representative program. There you go. So me and Sam are roommates. So <laughs> there's a piece of information for you. Hope we're you all well, connected mate. some way, yeah. aren't we? <laughs> also, mate, congratulations on your 100K. Yes. Well done to you, mate. Yeah, well done. You did an awesome job. But yeah, um, yeah, we have a, a Teespring. So when you go onto our YouTube videos, on the bottom there should be like some boxes of like, yeah. Uh, t-shirts and stuff like that 
Um, we do still have the Red Bubble account, but yes. uh, we are moving over to yes. uh, Teespring because yeah. uh, the the layout and the design that we can yeah. at the moment. So what I'm about to show you now is a new design that we've got. Um, um, we kind of hold it held off, actually, it, like say a show it, you know, announcing, announcing it because of you know of lockdown and everything like that. We can totally understand that we're all in a bit of situations where, yeah. you know. We spent one wonderful Christmas together. We did. <laughs> I carried a duvet or a mattress from one apartment to another. It was very interesting. Yeah. But yeah, so there yeah, but go. yeah, oh, this is a little bit crease to do apologize. Yeah, sorry, don't worry. But yeah, we've got um, the Los Angeles shirt. This is our Los Angeles t-shirt. So this is on the back of our t-shirts, and on the front we have our logo, which is just here. Mm -hmm. um, we have them on sale, so if you guys want to check them out, just head to our Teespring's account. Yeah. And yeah, it should be so in the description below or something. Hopefully. It should be on the little banner. Yeah. So, so there we go. There are all there for you. Yes. And uh, yeah, new shirts. New shirts, everybody. New shirts. So if you want to go check them out, we also have the Clever Girl one there as well. And we're going to bring other ones over there as well. So, yeah. but yeah, um, hope you folks have a great evening. Yeah. I'm going to go watch the PS5 announcement. Yeah, it's because he's, he's been harping on about it for so long. Who else is waiting for this PS5 fair? Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else a gamer in this uh, in the chat? Anyone else? Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm super excited for it. <laughs> but um, we just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for checking out the live streams. Yeah. We hope to um, do more of these live streams yes. in the future, maybe. So yeah, uh, we'll definitely we'll definitely be doing more. Mm -hmm. uh, da -da -da -da. But yeah, so hope you guys have a great evening. Oh, if you like your, um, our older merchandise designs are still available. Yeah, you can get them on Red Bubble. Yeah, it's all on Red Bubble, so it's all there for you. So, yeah, so have a great evening, everyone. Love you loads, and we shall see you very, very soon. Take Goodbye. care now. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye bye.